the tears of the lost goddess. Chapter 1. Shadows of the Lost Temple The year was 1932, and the world was on the cusp of change. In the heart of London, the smoky air carried whispers of adventure and mystery, and Catherine Hastings, a seasoned adventurer with a penchant for the unknown, found herself at the center of an enigmatic tale that would lead her into the depths of unexplored territories. Catherine's reputation as a daring explorer and adept problem solver had earned her a commission like no other. A sacred jewel, stolen from an ancient temple, was said to possess mystical powers capable of altering destinies. Hired by a mysterious benefactor, Catherine was tasked with retrieving the precious artifact before its dormant powers could be unleashed upon the world. Her journey began in the dimly lit alleys of London, where shadows danced among cobblestone streets. The information she sought led her to a discreet office, its door adorned with an ornate symbol that hinted at the esoteric nature of her mission. Behind the mahogany desk sat a shadowy figure, their face concealed by the dim light. Miss Hastings, I presume, the mysterious figure spoke in a low, gravelly voice. The room seemed to shrink in on itself, as if the very walls held secrets. Catherine, undeterred by the palpable aura of intrigue, nodded in acknowledgement. I've been told you have a job for me. The figure leaned forward, revealing piercing eyes that gleamed with a mixture of desperation and determination. A sacred jewel, stolen from an ancient temple, has fallen into the wrong hands. It is said to be the tears of the lost goddess, capable of both great benevolence and unfathomable chaos. Your mission is to retrieve it before the latter consumes us all. As the figure spoke, a map unfurled on the desk, tracing a route that would take Catherine from the bustling streets of London to the heart of the Amazon rainforest. The stolen jewel, it seemed, had set in motion a journey that spanned continents and delved into the shadows of forgotten civilizations. The jumbles of the Amazon beckoned, promising both danger and discovery. Catherine, with a map in hand and the weight of expectation on her shoulders set forth on a transcontinental odyssey. Her initial steps carried her through the vibrant chaos of London, a city on the brink of change echoing the uncertainty that fueled her adventurous spirit. As Catherine boarded a steamship bound for South America, the atmosphere shifted. The cool winds of the Atlantic whispered tales of the unknown, and the distant rhythms of tribal drums seemed to reverberate through the ship's wooden hull. The stolen jewel, shrouded in mystery and concealed within the heart of the Amazon, awaited her arrival. The Amazonian jungle, vast and impenetrable, greeted Catherine with a symphony of wildlife and the human embrace of verdant foliage. Guided by the cryptic map, she ventured into the heart of the rainforest, where sunlight struggled to pierce the thick canopy above. Ancient trees, adorned with moss and vines, stood as silent sentinels to the mysteries hidden within. Catherine's journey through the Amazon unfolded like a well-woven tapestry of danger and intrigue. Mysterious tribes, their existence known to few outsiders observed her passage with a mix of curiosity and caution. The stolen jewel, a focal point in their ancient prophecies, had woven her destiny into the fabric of their enigmatic beliefs. As she navigated through the labyrinthine waterways and treacherous terrain, the relic's significance became increasingly apparent. The map, once a mere guide, transformed into a narrative etched into the very landscape she traversed. 
The stolen jewel's aura resonated with the primal energies of the Amazon, and Catherine found herself on the precipice of an adventure that transcended the boundaries of time. The jungle's challenges tested Catherine's resilience and resourcefulness. Venomous creatures lurked in the undergrowth, and the ever-present sounds of unseen creatures added an air of suspense to her quest. The relic, pulsating with an ethereal glow, seemed to react to the dangers that lay ahead, becoming both a guide and a warning against the perils that awaited. In her encounters with the indigenous tribes, Catherine faced a delicate dance between diplomacy and respect for their ancient traditions. The stolen jewel, a source of both reverence and fear, became a catalyst for alliances and challenges that would shape the trajectory of her quest. Tribal legends spoke of a divine wrath that accompanied the theft of the tears of the lost goddess, and Catherine found herself entwined in the narrative of an age-old prophecy. As the Amazonian nights enveloped the jungle in an inky darkness, Catherine pressed on, following the relics glow through ancient ruins and hidden sanctuaries. The stolen jewel, once a mere artifact, now seemed to hum with an otherworldly resonance that echoed through the ages. The mysteries of the jungle intertwined with the enigma of the sacred jewel, creating a narrative that transcended the boundaries of reality. In the heart of the Amazon, Catherine discovered the entrance to the ancient temple that cradled the stolen jewel for centuries. The air became charged with anticipation as she ventured into the sacred space, adorned with intricate carvings and symbols that told tales of forgotten goddesses and the tears that embodied their sorrow. As she delved deeper into the temple's chambers, Catherine felt the relics glow intensify. The stolen jewel, perched upon an ornate pedestal, seemed to pulse with a celestial energy that transcended the earthly realm. The air became heavy with the weight of the artifact's significance, and Catherine, standing at the threshold of discovery, prepared to unravel the mysteries that had drawn her into the shadows of the lost temple. The echoes of ancient whispers seemed to guide her every step as she approached the sacred jewel. The map, now a testament to her journey through the Amazonian labyrinth, hinted at the challenges yet to come. The enigma of the tears of the lost goddess awaited its revelation, and Catherine Hastings, in that hallowed moment within the ancient temple, stood on the brink of a tale that would unravel the threads of history and destiny in equal measure. Chapter 2 Whispers of the African Deserts After Catherine Hastings' triumphant exploration of the enigmatic Amazonian jungle, the stolen jewel rested securely in her possession. The ethereal glow emanating from the sacred artifact seemed to resonate with the very heartbeat of the rainforest, as if it carried tales of ancient civilizations and mystical powers yet to be unveiled. However, her journey was far from over. From the lush expanses of the Amazon, Catherine's quest led her to the vast and arid landscapes of Africa, where the sun-drenched deserts held the next chapter of the enigmatic tale. Boarding a steamer in Brazil, she set sail across the Atlantic, the stolen jewel cradled in her hands like a key to secrets woven into the very fabric of the world. As the ship cut through the waves, the ocean breeze carried with it a medley of scents, a symphony of salt, adventure, and the promise of uncharted territories. The stolen jewel, nestled safely within a small, intricately carved box, seemed to hum with anticipation, as if attuned to the rhythm of the ocean that carried Catherine towards the next leg of her journey. The port of Dakar welcomed Catherine with a kaleidoscope of colors and sounds. From there, the vastness of the Sahara Desert beckoned, its shifting sands holding the promise of ancient mysteries and hidden truths. 
The stolen jewel's ethereal glow guided her toward the enigmatic secrets buried beneath the sun-baked dunes. As she traversed the desolate landscapes, Catherine encountered nomadic tribes whose ancient traditions seemed to echo through the sands of time. The stolen jewel, once again, became a source of both fascination and fear among those who crossed her path. Rumors of its mystical powers had spread like whispers on the desert winds, and secret societies, drawn to the allure of the artifact, lurked in the shadows. The relics of a bygone era emerged from the golden sands, forgotten cities, their stone structures withered by centuries of wind and time. The stolen jewel, pulsating with an ethereal glow, seemed to react to the ancient energies that permeated the desert air. Cryptic symbols etched into the walls of these ruins hinted at a cosmic dance of destiny, and Catherine found herself deciphering the enigmatic messages left by civilizations lost to the sands. The Sahara, with its vastness and solitude, became a crucible of endurance and revelation for Catherine. Sandstorms tested her determination, obscuring the horizon and blurring the boundaries between reality and mirage. The stolen jewel's glow, however, remained a steadfast beacon, cutting through the swirling sands like a celestial guide through the desert labyrinth. Nomadic tribes, guardians of age-old traditions, shared tales of a celestial jewel that had once graced the crown of an ancient ruler. Legends spoke of its transformative powers, capable of bringing prosperity or calamity to those who possessed it. Catherine's encounters with these tribes became a delicate dance of cultural exchange, as she sought not only the stolen jewel but also the wisdom and alliances that could aid her quest. The stolen jewel's significance deepened as Catherine approached an ancient oasis hidden amidst the shifting dunes. A secret society, shrouded in mystery and wielding arcane knowledge, emerged as a formidable adversary. Their covetous eyes fixated on the artifact, and Catherine found herself entangled in a web of intrigue that stretched across the desert horizon. The Oasis, a sanctuary in the heart of the Sahara, held a hidden chamber where the stolen jewel's power seemed to resonate with unparalleled intensity. The society's clandestine rituals, fueled by their desire to harness the artifact's energies, created a cosmic symphony that echoed through the desert night. Catherine, with a mix of caution and determination, infiltrated their ranks, hoping to unveil the secrets they guarded. As she navigated the intricacies of the secret society, Catherine discovered their ancient manuscripts and deciphered the coded messages that hinted at a celestial convergence. The stolen jewel, a celestial key in her possession, now held the key to unlocking the secrets buried within the sands of time. The society's intentions, however, remained elusive, though behind layers of secrecy and ancient knowledge. The climax of Catherine's journey through the Sahara unfolded within the hidden chambers of an ancient temple where the stolen jewel's celestial energies reached their zenith. The society, aware of her presence, confronted her with illusions and mystical manipulations. The desert air crackled with cosmic energies as Catherine faced adversaries empowered by the stolen jewel's celestial aura. In a moment of revelation, Catherine harnessed the artifact's powers to create a temporal barrier that contained the society's malevolent intentions. The stolen jewel, now purified by her unwavering resolve, emitted a radiant glow that dispelled the darkness that had threatened to engulf the Sahara. The society, thwarted in their attempts to manipulate the artifact, retreated into the shadows of the desert leading Catherine to contemplate the mysteries of the celestial jewel. As she emerged from the ancient temple, the oasis, once a focal point of intrigue, returned to a state of tranquil beauty. 
The stolen jewel, resting in her hands, seemed to vibrate with a subdued brilliance, resonating with the celestial energies that had coursed through the Sahara. Catherine, having unraveled the enigmatic secrets hidden within the desert's vast expanse, stood on the threshold of a new chapter in her journey. The echoes of the Sahara's mysteries lingered in the air as Catherine prepared to depart. The stolen jewel, now a celestial key infused with the energies of ancient civilizations and secret societies, beckoned her towards the next leg of her perilous adventure. The enigma that had fueled her journey through the Amazonian jungle and the Sahara Desert now paved the way for the unknown territories that awaited on the horizon. Chapter 3 The Enigmatic Tribes and Secret Societies As Catherine Hastings ventured forth from the depths of the Sahara Desert, the stolen jewel cradled in her hands pulsed with an otherworldly energy. The celestial glow seemed to resonate with the echoes of ancient civilizations and the enigmatic secrets buried within the shifting sands. Now, her path led her to the heart of the Amazonian jungle once more, where enigmatic tribes and secret societies guarded the stolen jewel's mystic powers. Returning to the lush embrace of the Amazon, Catherine found herself greeted by the familiar symphony of wildlife and the vibrant colors of the rainforest. The stolen jewel's ethereal glow, now a beacon of celestial significance, guided her through the dense foliage, weaving through the ancient trees like a celestial dance of light and shadow. Her encounters with the indigenous tribes took on a new depth as she navigated the intricate dance between diplomacy and the mysteries embedded within their ancient traditions. The sacred artifact, now carrying the energies of both the Amazon and the Sahara, became a symbol of unity and curiosity among the tribes. Catherine, armed with respect for their cultures and the celestial key in her possession, sought to unravel the deeper connections between the stolen jewel and the enigmatic tribes. The stolen jewel's celestial energies seemed to attune Catherine to the tribal rhythms, as if the artifact held a dialogue with the ancient spirits that whispered through the jungle. The tribes, each with its unique customs and beliefs, regarded her with a mix of reverence and weariness. The jungle, once a backdrop to her initial quest, now became a stage for the unfolding drama between the sacred artifact and the enigmatic tribes. As she ventured deeper into the heart of the Amazon, Catherine discovered hidden sanctuaries where the stolen jewel's celestial resonance intensified. Murals adorned with symbols hinted at cosmic convergences and the intertwining destinies of the jungle's guardians. The relics glow illuminated these sacred spaces, creating an otherworldly tapestry that mirrored the enigmatic history of the Amazonian tribes. The stolen jewel, as Catherine delved into the tribal enclaves, seemed to forge connections beyond the physical realm. It became a bridge between her and the indigenous people, a source of shared fascination and mystery. Tribal elders, keepers of ancient lore, shared prophecies that spoke of a celestial wanderer bearing a jewel with the power to shape destinies. Amidst the rituals and ceremonies, Catherine learned of a looming cosmic alignment that the tribes believed the stolen jewel was intricately linked to. The celestial key, now a conduit of celestial energies, became a focal point of their visions. The jungle's echoes whispered of a cosmic convergence that could either bring prosperity or chaos to the tribes, depending on how the stolen jewel's powers were harnessed. However, not all tribes viewed Catherine as a benevolent seeker. Some regarded her with suspicion, seeing in the stolen jewel the potential for upheaval and discord. 
rivalries between tribes, fueled by ancient grievances and territorial disputes, tested Catherine's diplomatic skills as she sought to navigate the intricate relationships woven into the fabric of the jungle. The stolen jewel's celestial aura, it seemed, acted as a catalyst for alliances and challenges alike. Catherine found herself entangled in the tribal politics, each decision carrying the weight of ancient prophecies and the enigmatic forces that govern the Amazonian realm. The celestial key became a pawn in a cosmic chess game, with the jungle's destiny hanging in the balance. Amidst the tribal intrigues, Catherine uncovered the presence of a clandestine organization that sought to exploit the stolen jewel's powers for their own clandestine purposes. The society, with roots embedded in the shadows of the Amazon, wove a complex tapestry of secret rituals and arcane knowledge. Their covetous eyes fixated on the stolen jewel as the key to unlocking unimaginable cosmic forces. Infiltrating the society's hidden sanctuaries, Catherine discovered ancient manuscripts that spoke of a celestial convergence, mirroring the prophecies of the indigenous tribes. The society, however, sought not to align with the cosmic forces but to harness them for their own ambitions. The Stolen Jewel, as Catherine unraveled the society's clandestine intentions, became a pawn in their grand scheme to wield celestial energies as a tool of dominion. The climax of Catherine's journey through the Amazon unfolded in the heart of the jungle, where the celestial energies reached their zenith. The stolen jewel, now a beacon of cosmic convergence, became the focal point of a cosmic ritual orchestrated by the secret society. The jungle's echoes resonated with the clash between celestial forces and the society's malevolent intentions. In a moment of cosmic intervention, Catherine harnessed the stolen jewel's powers to disrupt the society's ritual. The celestial key, Purified by the unity of the tribes and the knowledge gained from the Sahara, emitted a radiant glow that dispelled the darkness that had threatened to engulf the Amazon. The society, thwarted in their attempts to manipulate the artifact, retreated into the shadows of the jungle, leading Catherine to contemplate the mysteries of the celestial jewel. As she emerged from the heart of the Amazon, the stolen jewel rested securely in her hands, its celestial glow harmonizing with the jungle's vibrant energy. The enigmatic journey, filled with tribal alliances, secret societies, and cosmic convergences, reached its resolution. The celestial key, once a source of intrigue and conflict, had become a symbol of triumph over the forces that sought to manipulate its powers. The bold explorer Catherine Hastings stood at the fork in time, the stolen jewel in her grasp glowing with a muted brilliance. The mysteries of the Amazon continued to reverberate, and the secrets of balance and unity were now inside the cosmic key. The mystery of the tears of the lost goddess had been solved, leaving a legacy of tenacity, exploration, and the timeless appeal of the uncharted. Now, the enigmatic powers of the stolen jewel drove the celestial adventure, opening the door to the unknown regions that lay ahead. Chapter 4 The Confrontation at the Temple's Heart As Catherine Hastings emerged from the depths of the Amazon, the stolen jewel cradled in her hands glowed with an ethereal brilliance. The journey, weaving through the enigmatic tribes and secret societies, had brought her to the climax of her odyssey, the ancient temple that cradled the artifact for centuries. The celestial glow of the stolen jewel illuminated the entrance, casting a surreal radiance upon the carved stone walls. The jungle symphony, a chorus of exotic sounds and the rustling of leaves, accompanied Catherine as she approached the threshold of the sacred temple. The stolen jewel, 
now a celestial key infused with the energies of the Amazon, the Sahara, and the enigmatic tribes seem to vibrate with anticipation. The cosmic forces that had guided her journey resonated within the temple's sacred chambers. As she stepped into the hallowed space, the air became charged with a palpable energy. The stolen jewel, pulsating with celestial power, cast flickering shadows upon the intricate carvings that adorned the temple walls. Symbols of ancient deities and cosmic alignments seemed to come to life, telling a tale of a celestial dance that transcended the boundaries of mortal comprehension. The temple's corridors, bathed in the stolen jewel's glow, echoed with whispers of a celestial convergence that had shaped the destinies of civilizations and secret societies alike. Catherine, guided by the map that had led her through the Amazon and the Sahara, followed the ethereal light towards the heart of the temple where the relic's true purpose awaited revelation. Within the central chamber, Catherine discovered an ornate pedestal bathed in an otherworldly glow. The stolen jewel, seemingly attuned to the temple's cosmic energies, pulsed with increasing intensity as she approached. The celestial key, infused with the essence of the enigmatic journey, seemed to resonate with the ancient forces that permeated the sacred space. Carved inscriptions on the temple walls foretold of cataclysmic events if the stolen jewel were to be harnessed for malevolent purposes. The celestial convergence, intricately linked to the artifact's energies, held the potential to either bring harmony or chaos to the world. Catherine, armed with the knowledge gained from the Amazon, the Sahara, and her encounters with tribes and secret societies, stood at the crossroads of cosmic destiny. As she studied the inscriptions, a malevolent force emerged from the shadows. The secret society, having regrouped after their defeat in the Amazon, sought to seize the stolen jewel and wield its powers for their dark ambitions. Cloaked figures, their eyes aflame with greed and determination, encircled Catherine, seeking to claim the celestial key that pulsed with celestial energies. The confrontation in the heart of the temple unfolded like a cosmic battle between light and shadow. The stolen jewel's glow clashed with the darkness that emanated from the society's arcane rituals, creating a spectacle of celestial proportions. The air crackled with the clash of celestial energies, and the temple's walls seemed to resonate with the echoes of ancient deities. In a moment of revelation, Catherine harnessed the stolen jewel's celestial powers, channeling them into a celestial barrier that repelled the malevolent force of the secret society. The celestial convergence, now under her control, wove a protective shield that encapsulated the stolen jewel and the sacred temple. The society's dark intentions, thwarted by the celestial forces, retreated into the shadows once more. The stolen jewel, Purified by Catherine's unwavering resolve, emitted a serene radiance that dispelled the darkness that had threatened to engulf the world. The temple's sacred chambers resonated with a celestial harmony, as if the enigmatic journey through the Amazon, the Sahara, and the encounters with tribes and secret societies had attuned the artifact to the cosmic forces that govern the universe. Catherine, standing at the center of the celestial convergence, felt the stolen jewel's energies harmonize with the very essence of the temple. The celestial key, once a source of conflict and intrigue, had become a beacon of celestial balance. The secret society, defeated in their attempts to manipulate the artifact, faded into obscurity, leaving the temple to bask in the radiant glow of cosmic energies. As Catherine emerged from the ancient temple, the stolen jewel now held securely in her hands, the echoes of the enigmatic journey reverberated through the Amazonian jungle. The celestial convergence, 
once a looming threat, had been harnessed for benevolent purposes. The jungle's vibrant energy seemed to dance in celebration, as if the very spirits that had whispered through the leaves rejoiced in the triumph of balance over chaos. The enigma of the tears of the lost goddess had been unraveled within the sacred confines of the ancient temple. The celestial journey, guided by the stolen jewel and fueled by cosmic forces, had left an indelible mark on Catherine Hastings, the intrepid adventurer. The relics of the Amazon, the Sahara, and the encounters with tribes and secret societies now became chapters in a celestial chronicle that would be passed down through the annals of history. Catherine, with the celestial key cradled in her hands, stood on the precipice of a new beginning. The stolen jewel, now a symbol of harmony and cosmic balance, radiated with a subdued brilliance that reflected the journey's profound impact. The echoes of the celestial convergence lingered in the air, whispering tales of an adventurer who had unraveled the mysteries of ancient civilizations and secret societies, ultimately restoring balance to the forces that governed the enigmatic tears of the lost goddess. Please watch the other videos from our playlists. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep updated with new captivating mysteries.